What's up guys, the tech spot here, and I got my blood work done again, and I feel like I was wearing this exact same shirt and stuff last time I got my blood work done, which is funny. Alright, but in this video, I have both good and bad news, so I'm gonna be talking about that for iOS. Alright, so first off, as you guys know, iOS 13.5.1 was released, and it did block and patch the uncovered jailbreak from working. So basically, if you still did want to jailbreak, you would have to downgrade or stay on iOS 13.5 but now you can no longer downgrade because iOS 13.5 is no longer being signed okay so Apple officially stopped signing iOS 13.5 which sucks because if you wanted to jailbreak, then you're stuck on 13.5.1 without a jailbreak now, all right? So you would have to wait for them to update the jailbreak. All right, so that is bad news number one. I thought we would start out with the bad news, okay? But the bad news number two is that Uncover was revoked again. So you guys know that this was inevitable. Of course, it was revoked like the day after I made my video. So if you did want to download Uncover without a computer, you can no longer do that because it's no longer signed okay so you can no longer get under advice right now but don't worry the uncover app will once again be signed and as soon as it happens i will tweet about it okay so follow me on twitter at the tech spot tts uh, it's a little confusing okay my handle is a little confusing someone took the tech spot so i had to take the tech spot tts but yeah follow me on my twitter and this time i don't know if i'll also make a video as soon as uncover is re-signed because i don't think there's a point because as soon as I make a video, a day later, it will be revoked by Apple and that video will basically become useless. So I think I might just tweet about it as soon as the cover is signed. So just follow me there. And that's basically all the bad news. Now, if you're not into joke breaking, I guess none of this is really meaningful or it's, it does not really mean bad news to you. But I don't know who that would be because joke breaking is just so cool. You can just do so much with your device with it and it's just not the normal iphone anymore it's so much more i love jailbreaking now for the good news all right now this is actually really really cool stuff so in my last last video not my micro video but my this video right here avoid revokes i did tell you guys to do these steps to potentially make it so that your apps never get revoked again and specifically for the uncovered jailbreak so if you guys follow that video in that video i did mention that i did not know if it actually worked because it's fairly new but now, I can successfully say that it does work, and I am blown away, okay? My Uncover still opens perfectly fine, and as you guys know, that certificate for Uncover was revoked, Uncover got revoked, but the app still opens perfectly fine. It's cool, okay? So, you'll always have your apps using this method, I think, and I just want to test one more thing, but first, let me show you guys this. iPhone time. All right, so check it out. Okay, so there is Uncover. This is the same Uncover using that certificate. And if I go and tap on it to open it up, it takes a little bit of time, but watch, it's still gonna open. Boom, there it is. And I was even disconnected from my Wi-Fi. I was on cellular and you guys were asking, well, hey, well, if you're using your Wi-Fi, what if you get off your Wi-Fi network? Well, it still does work. So I think you just have to be connected to your Wi-Fi network or something like that. And it kind of, I don't know, does something. And so yes, yeah, so if I go over here to my Wi-Fi and tap on the eye at the very bottom, you guys can see, if I tap on configure proxy, I still have it at ffapple.com for the proxy. And if I go back over here to general and then down to device management, uh, okay, it disappeared. Okay, no, there it is. All right, profiles device management. If I go to top of the profile, you guys can see, there it is. And for some reason, it still says verified, even though it is revoked. So this is not a new certificate or anything, and this is so cool. So I was testing it out for a few days, or uh, I think like a day, and it does work. So like I said, I can still open the app, but here's the thing. I don't know if I can reboot my device. I did not reboot my device yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and see if it still works. If it does, then this is a fix for app revokes. This means that we could just use this method forever and keep our apps from getting revoked. So this is super cool. I hope it still works as soon as I reboot my device and go back in. And oh boy, the moment of truth. So here we go. Okay, now it crashes. So looks like for this method, you do have to make sure that your device does not reboot or die. But if your device does not die or reboot, then you will have your revoked or not non-revoked apps forever, all right? They will never get revoked just as long as you do not reboot your device, all right? So yeah, now we're rebooted and now it is crashing and broken. Now, let me see what happens if I go back over to settings, general, and then device management. Okay, it disappeared again. Uh, I think it's gonna come up, there it is. All right, so boom. All right, so it looks like it still says verify the same thing. It's the same certificate. 
but now it crashes because I did reboot my device and unfortunately there's no fix for that. So yeah, in conclusion, the no revoke in my last video does work, except you cannot reboot or let your device die, all right? But yeah, if that video link will be down below in the description if you guys do want to follow that. If you ever do download an app scan when they're signed and then it, your apps will never get revoked. So pretty cool stuff. And all right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out a ton, a ton, all right? And anyways, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on because some of the stuff I do make videos on is time sensitive. So you guys want to make sure you have post notifications on so you are able to do it as soon as possible. So it still works. Whew, that was a mouthful. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is the tech spot and I'm out.